Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about today is. Okay, that's very good to start. Suppose you have a material, just like a normal bar as usual, um, and I'm applying any form of load or force or deprivation. Yeah, say if I like hit it, like a tuning fork. Then you hit it, and then it kind of just like wiggles back and forth. Yeah, it wiggles back and forth, um, and it kind of comes back to where it originally was. Um, likewise, I can also have a rubber band. Well, the bands are usually yellow, fish, or yellow orange, and I can pull it, and it will just it will get stretched, and then it will come back, it will come back to its original shape. Yeah, it will come back to its original length. Or you know you might have noticed about um, if if uh, yeah if you apply a load onto a metal bar say a particular stress and it will strain a certain amount yeah um, you'll notice that that stress and strain are proportional to one another and so that if you let it go then it'll come back to its original shape or its original dimension size but then there will come a point where if you pull it hard enough so if my stress is big enough It will, it will strain so much, it will, it will change dimensions so much that if you let it go, it's not going to come back to its original size. It's not going to come back to its original form or dimensions. Some materials don't undergo this phase. Some some will simply snap like like rubber bands. You don't see it like permanently change shape. But some but many materials have this property where if you pull it hard enough or if you deform it hard enough. It doesn't come back. Say, for example, if you had like a metal bar, and if I bend it, yeah, bend it. Um, I mean, imagine looking at this sideways. So I'm gonna redraw that metal bar, and you bend it. Um, there's got there's gonna come a point where it will just completely bend and not come back to its original like straight shape. So this is this original type where you get this original type where you apply a force or a load and it comes back to its original dimensions or shape or form is what we call elastic deformation. Elastic deformation. And then once you reach a certain limit, then um, then like stuff like this and Hooke's law that we have, that we talked about earlier with um, Young's modulus and all that. Um, that doesn't that no longer applies if you apply a large enough stress. Um, and this sort of thing applies uh, where it doesn't come back to its original shape. And this is what we call plastic. Plastic definition. So um, please note when when you actually pull in, in real experiments when we actually pull a material and it does go into its plastic shape. It doesn't mean that it just stays in its plastic. It doesn't. Yeah, when you when you pull it, pull it some more. Yeah, and then let go. Yeah, so and then let go. It doesn't just stay elongated. It does contract a little bit. And that's because there's a part of it that is that is elastic, and there's a part of it or most of it which is and this is plastic. So there is some elastic component of it, but most of it is plastic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, elastic does come back like a rubber band. Plastic doesn't come back. It stays bent or stays deformed, generally. Um, another definition that you should know is um, the difference between elastic and anelastic, which sound almost exactly the same. Elastic. And elastic. So elastic is simply when you let it go, it immediately comes back, um, returns back.
yeah it, like into into original shape yeah and elastic when you let it go it is almost like elastic like it does eventually come back to its original shape but it takes some time so let it go it lags lags as it, it slowly does it slowly sorry slowly returns to shape original shape Uh, an example that you can sort of picture is that the elastic is just like a rubber band. Yeah, a little rubber band. If you pull it, it kind of deforms, it just stretches. Stretch. Um, and then, yeah. And then when you let it go, then it just comes back to its original form immediately. No, no lag required. Yeah. Um, and a, an elastic material could be like a sponge. Sponges aren't really red, but go with me here. So if you if you crumple a sponge, yeah. So crumple the sponge, um, and then let it go. It does take a bit of time for it to come back to its original shape. Yeah. Um, so that's what you would call something that's an elastic. So just a few definitions to get out of the way um, might be useful for your exams.